I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. It's a piano we just barely finished up. It's a 1916 Apollo that we uh, that we basically completely rebuilt, um, both cosmetically as well as as well as the the guts, and it's in perfect working order. Um, actually, I, before I started this video, I, I didn't check the size. It's probably about a little over five feet would would be my guess, like five foot two probably. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm I'm probably within an inch or so. Um, but yeah, 1916. We've been working on this one for several months. It was a it was a pretty massive um, transformation that we made on this piano, uh, and I would say probably 80 percent of the work, maybe maybe 85 percent of the work, is on the interior, and then the rest of it was was refinishing. It's a complete complete refinish, and uh, and it's and it's beautiful, and it sounds great, and it plays it plays well. It's it's uh, fully regulated. Um, so, so yeah, it'll be a it'll be a great piano for many decades after after our restoration. Okay, so um, why don't we start with cosmetics, and then I'll talk about what we did to the inside. So, cosmetically, um, totally refinished. It's um, it's I mean we're we're shooting for perfection. Of course, it's 1916, but uh, but it's it's gorgeous. Our refinisher here did did a fantastic job. Um, that uh, that decal there, that's a that's a um, replica decal of what was there original, originally. Uh, all of the um, felt and other kinds of little cosmetic details, all of those have been completely replaced. The things like these knobs, this little fall, fall board fall board hinge, this lock here, this lock here. This little keyhole thing, the hinges, this continuous hinge, the lock up here, the screws there, all of those, we've um, completely buffed those up and, and they're gorgeous. And the casters as well, and the little ferrules that, that surround the, the bottom of the leg, all of that is, is totally, totally buffed up like new. And it looks beautiful. Oh, and the last, the last thing that's kind of a cosmetic touch um, but but I guess bordering on functional is the keys, of course. So so the keys uh, we do we do lots and lots of key sets. So we're very experienced at that, very good at that. Uh, we do probably two a week, one one or two a week on average, full key sets. So so all of the all of the white keys, all of the black keys are are totally brand new and they're gorgeous. Just all of the hallmarks of of a of a properly um, executed key job. Okay. Then on the inside, parts that we've replaced, we've, we've totally replaced with brand new the, the hammers and the dampers, and then, and then the uh, bushings, and then a couple, a couple other minor parts like uh, let off buttons and, and um, those kinds of felts and back rail cloth, front rail, uh, balance rail cloth, those, those kinds of things are, are all replaced. The, also the base, um, base strings are are also brand new. You can see the bass strings in there, which which gives it uh, gives the bass just a, a nice nice kind of harmonic richness when when you replace the bass strings. Okay, and then of course of course the whole action has been has been completely redone. So so that that includes like like the knuckles. Actually, let's go over here and I'll show you what what that means. So over time, this this little part here, this little leather covered part, is called the knuckle, and that gets worn out from from getting kind of beat on by this part here called the jack, and this part here called the repetition lever. They kind of just beat on that on that knuckle year after year. So we go through and refurbish them by by um, uh, bolst what, what's called bolstering the knuckles and and kind of refreshing that that uh, that leather that surrounds it. So that's that's kind of a um, a heavy wear area. So so all of that is is in perfect condition again. Also the pinning, uh, the uh, like I was showing you the, the the hammer pivots on a metal pin that goes through there, and so all of that pinning is completely redone as well. So it's got it's got the right amount of friction, not too not too too much friction or not too little. And then of course everything is totally regulated, which is a, a process. 
where, where we go through and ensure that the, everything from the distance that you can depress the key to um, the distance of the hammer to the string, when the hammer's at rest, the distance that that hammer, what, what's called uh, escapement, a uh, number, number of others, the drop and the um, spring strength, the, the um, back check, damper timing, the uh, rep lever height, the jack, um, the, the jack position, all, all of these things in conjunction with maybe a handful of others that, that are, are properly regulated so that this touch is not just functional but correct and consistent and, um, and enabling a pianist to, to really properly express themselves in, with a wide, wide range of a wide color palette to, to choose from in, in that, that touch. That's the whole reason that the piano is so amazing. I intentionally chose to, to play that because I think that's just a really expressive um, kind of emotional piece and, uh, and I, think you can, I think you can really feel what this, what this piano can do um, with, those, with that, like, that emotion that, that that song just kind of really um, evokes. So, uh, so come, come check it out. I'm very proud of, uh, of, of the work that we do. Um, not only on this piano, but on, on lots of pianos. We, we restore many, many pianos and, and, uh, and, and they, they turn out great. This one is, is by, by no means any, any exception. It's a phenomenal piano and will be for, for many, many decades to come. The address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem and uh, the phone number here is 801-701-0113. Thanks for watching.